Hello everybody, this is Simjanski again and today I'm going to explain you everything you need to know about sun and sky dome and how to set up an atmosphere in your room uh, in, with the more advanced tools that we have for this. Let's go. Alright, we are inside our macro room. I already opened the palette here. Um, And we will go into the um, in everything related to sky. So we have a sky dome constant. Then we have another constant that's called sun that we will need a lot and then we have a um, thing that's called sun direction that we will need so that's basically uh, what we have to set up our room and then we want to do for this example do something that a button that we have in our room will change will change all our atmosphere like where the sun is at and where the sun is coming from and stuff like that let's unfreeze all of these so we will be able to see the sun okay. just for now there's the sun and right now we can turn this around and do yeah, that's the sun going um but it doesn't do anything as you see because it's not activated yet but the thing is if we go there and configure it i think we should be able no we're not able to see anything but oh yeah now we see it so if you use this so, mm. so it does something you see, you already see a preview if you click this thing. But it's not really activated in the room. So how do we activate it? For the sky, we have a sky. Come on. It's called sky. Sky dome modify. So we have two things here, we can modify it or reset it. So then it would just be reset to the normal one. And we want to modify it now. So the reset will just, yeah, what it tells, it will reset. And for the sky we have the same. Just have, uh, for the sun we have the same. So we can modify or reset it. So we want to modify it when we press the button. And then it's actually super easy. Uh, you just connect the constant. You can have different constant, like different settings of your sky dome. You want to do it at blend finish. There's a blend option, so it doesn't go to the different sky. Like immediately, it will take some uh, minutes or better seconds to fade. And for the sun, we will have to connect the sun constant and the sun direction to also set this. So, how do you configure the sky dome constant? You just click on it and then you have a lot of options. You can give it a name. You can change some of the colors here, like the ground color. Let's make it green. Uh, the ground bottom color would be like a brown. So it's, it's fading from brown to green and we have a horizon let's make the horizon white for now so you can change whatever you want you have the sky color here we, we keep it like this you can change the size of the horizon horizon strength strength you can change you can have some general settings you can sync it so everyone has the same sky dome or you can just leave it unsynced so only the person that 
just pushing the button will have it. You can have a plan time, so it takes a little bit longer from one to uh, from the other one we had before. You can ease in. I'm not sure what this is, but I will keep it on. And you can even enable or disable it for certain players, which I'm not sure what this is for, but it might help. So this is how everything you can set up here, I think. Yep. And then you can do the same with the Sunship and you have options here as well. You can change the color, intensity of the sun, the shadow, the size of the sun. There's a glow color, glow strength. So I have a lot of settings. Reflection, even the reflection. Intensity you can change. <coughs> And you have some general settings here again as well. You can sync it, you can have a blend time. Let's put this up a little bit so it takes a while. And you can enable it. All right. So I've pressed this now. You see that the sun, ah, first the sky, and now the sun is moving, ah, okay. So the sun is moving right up because the sun direction is pointing there. If I want to have the sun somewhere else, I can just move the sun direction chip around. And it's always putting the sun, uh, not where the arrow is going, but at the other direction. So this basically shows you the shadow direction, so to speak. And one I almost forgot, <laughs> there's another one that you can even do more settings with than just the color and stuff. It's the background objects constant. So let's add this as well. And of course you do also have a... Uh, oh, you should... Ah, okay. Back. And you should also have a background objects modifier. This is basically just some add-on to the um, to the sun and the sky thing. So you can add some more details. So what are the details you can add? You can add mountains and uh, give it a certain color. Yeah, put transparency, even like trans transparent mounts. I don't know why you would want to have that. You can add clouds to your sky. A lot of different, um, yeah, a lot of different clouds. I don't know why I'm not seeing them right now. Mm -hmm. Let's do large clouds here. And let's maybe have no mountains. Um, you can add stars. Like two different ways of stars. A lot of stars, some stars. Um, you can add a moon. Like it will uh, replace the sun with the moon. You have also two different settings for the moon, like a full moon or this kind of spooky moon thing. And you have the general settings again in this as well, like the blend time and stuff. I'm not sure why I'm not seeing the clouds right now. It's a little bit weird. Actually, there should be clouds. <laughs> I'm not sure why, why they are not appearing for me now. Yeah. Not sure. Something is odd. But this should um, change your sky. It should 
yeah, there should be clouds. I'm not sure why I'm not seeing them, but this is how you can add more stuff. Like, especially I'm using it for night, night uh, skies, for example, to uh, get the little stars in there or even the moon. So you could easily do a setting, for example, that uh, checks um, yeah, that you can push one button for daytime thing and another button for nighttime thing. That's something you can build with this. Thank you guys for watching again. As always, like and subscribe and visit my extra room that I built to show off the things that you can do and to give you a little bit insight, especially when the circuits come up, that you can just check out, make a selfie, post it, whatever. And uh, yeah, see you in the next tutorial. Bye bye.